One ticket to Zhang Jiajie National Forest Park is actually an all-access front row seat to Mother Nature for four whole days. That blew my mind. And then I walked in and I understood why. Consider this your official do's and don'ts guide to visiting this surreal forest park. You've reached the destination. Don't forget your passport. Yes, it's a hassle to bring that book everywhere. I notoriously never bring mine on outings while traveling. And usually I can get by with just a photo of it on my phone. Here at the park, they will not accept a photocopy or just a picture of it on your phone. You'll need to bring the actual passport with you. Do be prepared for a lot of stomach churning bus rides. Sure, you could trek your way through if you're really about that hiker life, but if you value seeing more during your visit, you're going to want to hop on a bus or two at some point. Hold on tight, and if you're prone to motion sickness, make sure you bring whatever meds you need. I saw people get sick on nearly every ride. Don't think that all these bus rides will help you escape some hiking. And by some, I mean a lot. The Bai Long Elevator is the highest and fastest in the world. It's going to get you to these majestic Hallelujah Mountains in 1 minute and 32 seconds. After, you climb about 200 steps up to its base. And that's just the warm up. This sign says Sun River, but I read it as Survivor <laughs> of all of those steps. You do have to purchase a separate ticket for this experience. It's 72 RMB each way. That's about 10 US dollars. It's completely worth it, but only if you arrive super early so that you don't have to wait in a massive two hour line. After walking through this seemingly endless corridor of pinwheels, I finally arrived at the gate. I only had to wait about five minutes when I discovered this cool trick. There are two levels to enter the elevator, a lower one and an upper one. I was in the line for the lower one, and when it cleared, I was still like, I don't know, in the back. So I just went up the stairs to this upper one where, ta-da, I was the first one in line, which means I get to enter the lift first. This is very important because if you do not get a place right up against this glass, I really don't see the purpose of doing this other than saying you did it. You're not going to be able to see anything at all if you're not right up against the glass. These lifts hold 50 people, which means we're packed in here pretty tightly. Uh-oh. What? People. <gasps> oh no, people. It doesn't feel like we're moving as quickly as we are. It's a pretty cool experience. Although the glare was a lot. Here's some iPhone footage that softens it just a little bit. But yeah, I mean, if you're not up against the glass, I guess you can look up because it is a very high frame of view. But mm, I don't know, 72 RMB and a very pack like sardines ride. I wouldn't have enjoyed it if I wasn't right up against the glass. The other options to arrive at this point for free are walking, obviously, and you can take a bus. <laughs> Do take advantage of the photography station after you exit the elevator. This is perfect for us solo travelers and those who want a cool group pic with the whole fam. Eight out of 10 times, I get amazing photos from the photographers at scenic spots. Unfortunately, this was not one of those times. I take great direction. I just did exactly what the photographer told me to do. And as you can see, it came off pretty corny and stupid, but... <laughs> It's the memory that counts. 
you can get your photos printed right there on the spot on just about anything you can think of a t-shirt a mug a bag and of course regular prints they were super affordable so even though mine came out quite doofy i did go ahead and purchase some to give to my family don't rush this is a mistake i would have made if i had not been coerced to extend my stay remember you have four whole days with one entry ticket and there's so much to see hi hey hey hello hello can you, okay can you tell the mom okay <laughs> where are you sir wait what can you say hey <laughs> And lots of people who want to see you. Yes, people have come all the way here to the world's oldest bridge just to see me, which is inside the park. Honestly, you can skip this. It was not worth this hike at all, but it was nice that I met this girl. She was super sweet and we exchanged photos from different places all over Jiang Jiajie during our time here. Hallelujah Mountains, aka Avatar Mountains. After you see like the beginning of it, it kind of all starts to look the same. I'm just saying. Don't spend too much time there. Do have lunch at Tianza Mountain. But I didn't know that, so I ended up here. You can never go wrong with bread, and since there are some fellow Y Goren over here getting some as well, I figured this was a safe bet. I don't know exactly what this is called, I've had it many times. It's basically just fried dough with some spicy sauce on top, sesame seeds and other seasonings. It's delicious and it's the perfect snack to take as I wait in line for the bus to take me to Tianza Mountain. <laughs> Do understand that sometimes the entrances to places inside of parks is super difficult to find even if you're a Mandarin speaker and reader. It's just because there are so many people in one place, it's hard to see the signs. I passed this countless times on the bus and that's why I was so frustrated because I just simply couldn't find it. I couldn't see it. There were too many people in the way, but now that I'm completely exhausted, it is after lunch. A lot of the crowd has cleared and I'm able to enter Tianzushan with my watermelon 
juice. This part of the park gets a lot of hype just because there's a McDonald's here. I really didn't care about that, but this is a wonderful landmark to let you know you are headed in the right direction. Point, we're supposed to be able to see a girl holding a bouquet. I tried my best, but I could not see Shorty, okay? People around me were like, oh, look, Nikan, over there. But I just, I didn't see what they were talking about. But hey, again, more mountains that kind of start to look the same. <laughs> I'm in such a bad mood from that bus experience that was completely my fault because I couldn't see the sign there was just too many people and the one sign that was really big didn't make sense to me at all but I passed this place six times maybe not six I can't do math right now but multiple times I got off at this stop and just looped back around thinking this wasn't the right stop it just looked like a place to eat because I got here right at noon so it was just swarmed with people eating lunch and sleeping and doing all the things people do at lunchtime. It was overwhelming. So I didn't even attempt to walk through that, which is what I needed to do to get here. So now that I'm calming down, I'm really glad that I found this little nook with no people in it no people whatsoever so i can enjoy this view because at first i was like i didn't need to come here in person i could have just kept looking at the pictures on the internet but it is kind of nice to be here where it feels like i can just walk over there and touch one of those peaks <laughs> I was paying attention and reading in Chinese I could have come here and sat here and had lunch with this amazing view could have totally sat here and had lunch so I'm putting this in here for you guys if you come here walk past all that other food Come into Tianza scenic area and keep walking until you see this. There isn't much to see once you get past the food. The views are beautiful, but this doesn't cover a large area. So you can get through it pretty quickly and then take a beautiful cable car ride back down. If you have a steady hand and you're in the car by yourself, you can try to put your phone out of those little windows and do this. spend an entire day in Fangshu village. This is the most idyllic place I've ever seen in my life. It literally looks like a fairy tale come true. I really couldn't believe my eyes. The butterflies, the flowers, a great place for the elderly or very young because the entrance is completely flat. You enter along a beautiful creek 
And at the end, you'll start to see some monkeys. Don't worry, these monkeys were very peaceful. They did not try to jack anyone for their things, unlike those rowdy monkeys in Thailand or Bali. And there are young people painting the scenery all over the place. It was just so pure and wholesome. you can certainly hike up to the top of these mountains. This is the second time I saw this phrase if you basically means if you don't climb Huang Shi Shan you haven't really been to Jiang Jia Jie. Oh I've been to Jiang Jia Jie, okay. But this is low-key making me want to climb up there. I think I might do it but I gotta see how long it might take or should I take the cable car? It will take you one and a half hour to have a complete view of the terrace. There are 3,878 steps from the bottom to the top of the mountain. It will take you about two and a half hours on foot to walk. Oh, wait a minute. See, you gotta read the whole sentence. Two and a half hours. I don't think I have time. The park closes at 6 and it is 3.20 right now. Uh, also, once again, I have not eaten a proper meal. So I don't think I should climb up there. This is a meal, right? It's going to have to do for now. So peaceful at the top too. I was having a photo shoot when I got interrupted by this tour group. And this guy, the one with the half shirt, <laughs> he wanted to take a photo with me. And you can see the amusement or disdain or unidentified facial expressions on everyone else in the group as they pass by. <laughs> today was so much better than yesterday no tears today although i shouldn't speak too soon because i'm on the top of the mountain and i still have a long way to go to get out of this park but today was amazing wow did you hear my echo people are just up here hooting like owls and i realized it's because you can like hear it back so many things like there's definitely there's all kind of life down there like I feel like I heard a wolf a tiger <laughs> a whole lot of monkeys birds frogs like wow I would not want to be stuck in here after the sun goes down so I need to zo zo ba zo 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 <laughs> see what I started Lover's Peak. Where are the lovers? Is it these two? I think it's these two. This is the Lover's Peak. 
Where is my lover? <laughs> lover! <laughs> I had entirely too much fun talking to myself and the other echo seekers. There are lots of monkeys among other things here too. And as the sun started to set, they began to make their presence known. It was kind of cool, but also scared. Like, what is that? What is it coming around the corner? Usually it was just another human who would let out a yell, because they too were afraid. <laughs> This place was so peaceful, I almost extended my trip one more day. Just to spend it all there. Wow, I didn't see that teleporter. Just everything. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Don't leave this off your itinerary. I only spent two of my four day ticket there, which was okay as a solo traveler. But hindsight, I recommend a minimum of three. Of course, if you can, take advantage of all four days. So what was your favorite part of the park? Let me know in the comments. I think you could tell which one was mine. See you at the next destination.